and welcome to the first Hurricane Hang Time of the season. I'm your host, Charlotte Payne, here with analysts Justin Heyer and Brendan Riley. Basketball is kicking off next week. What better way to prepare than take a look back at highlighting some key players from last season? Brendan, the women's team has some exceptional talent. Beatrice Montpremier was just named an ACC newcomer watchlist honoree. What can Canes fans expect to see from her and the team going forward? Yeah, Charlotte, so this is a women's basketball team that's really looking to take the next step this year. They've gone to the NCAA tournament seven out of the last eight seasons, but I've never gotten past the first weekend. They're, they're starting off at right outside the top 25. This is Katie Myers' 14th season at the helm. And this team really starts and ends with the dynamic Dutch duo, if you will, in Laura Cornelius and Amese Hoff. Cornelia sat out last season due to a torn ACL, while Mesa Hoff was a force in the middle, averaged nine points and five and a half boards a game. Like you said, they have Beatrice Montpremier coming in from Baylor, who's originally from Miami. She redshirted, transferred, and now sat out last season, literally looking to help this team out. She's been in six NCAA tournament games, looking to bring that experience to help them out when they get to march into the tournament. They start off next season in an exhibition against Nova Southeastern, a Division II opponent, really looking for them to handle them easily to start off the season on a high note. And Justin, the men's team has some standouts as well. Who do you think is going to be taking the spotlight this season and in their first game against Barry University? Yeah, Charlotte, so just for some perspective, the Canes had a really good year last season. They went 11-7 in the conference, 22-9 overall, but they lost guards Lonnie Walker and Bruce Brown, two stars, to the NBA draft. So the, uh, the Canes need some other players to step up. Juan Hernandez is an obvious candidate. He started 32-32 games last season and was just named to the uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Center of the Year watch list. So they're expecting big things from him. Anthony Lawrence as well, started 31 games and doubled his point and rebound totals from his sophomore to his junior year. He'll definitely be a leader on the court. Two guards to look at, DJ Facilovic and Chris Likes, will be huge for this Kansas attack. Facilovic led the ACC in three-point field goal percentage last season. Likes, an undersized sophomore at only 5'7". However, in the 10 games he started after Brown's injury, he led the team in points per game. So this Kansas team has a lot of things to look forward to moving forward. Thank you for joining us tonight on Hurricane Hangtime. Back to you guys.